Shabbat Shalom, Israel. Shabbat Shalom. Here again. Coming with you with another episode of Bringing Out the Precepts. On this uh, holy day of Passover. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Masiach, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakan Kadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh Shah Masiach is who this world is going to call Jesus the Christ. And uh, Rakar Kodash is the Holy, is the Holy Spirit. And Lashawan Kodash, the ancient Paleo tongue. So that's why we give all praise and glory to Abba Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamasiach, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash. Bringing out another episode, another quick sit down on this Passover. Shabbat Shalom. And I'm going to be covering. The blessings and the curses of the Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Deuteronomy 28 chapter, the blessings and the curses. So many people I see online and so many people bringing out this only Negroid um, doctrine, saying that the uh, so-called Hispanic, so-called natives are not Israelites. Um, I don't see how they are uh, missing an area with the scriptures when we're going through the same captivity. We're going through the same oppression in this wicked land, Babylon the Great. Um, I just don't understand it, but the Most High must have them still with their veil covered and still unblinded because the scriptures prove it. Deuteronomy 28 proves who are the Israelites of the Bible. You must be living through these uh, curses of the Bible. And who's to say that, that the Hispanics throughout the Four Corners, um, the Native Americans at the Four Corners, that are not going through uh, the oppression and the captivity here in this wicked land. People are simple as hell, but I'm going to bring it out to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The blessings and the curses of the book of Deuteronomy 28th chapter. All right, I'm going to start at the top, Deuteronomy 28. And it should come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Okay? I command thee this day that Yahweh thy power will set thee above all nations of the earth. And to get a precept on that, let's go back in Deuteronomy. The seventh chapter. And we cover who are the, the, the people of Israel, the, the, um, the, the children of Israel. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 reads, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power has chosen thee, a special people unto himself above all people that are on the face of the earth. Read it for yourself, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it talks about, I command thee this day that Yahweh thy power will set thee high above all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 and 2, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. Blessed shall be in the city and blessed shall be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, the increase of thy cane, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket, of and thy store, businesses. We will be blessed. Blessed shall be when thou comest, and blessed shall be when thou goest in and out. The blessing being compassed by the Most High's uh, angels, so that no danger of the plague come upon you. Deuteronomy 7, uh, 28 and 7. Yahweh shall cause thy enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. Thou shalt come out of, out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Uh, verse 8. Yahweh shall command the blessings upon thee in the storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hands unto. He shall bless thee in the land with Yahweh thy power have given thee. If we hearken to his voice and keep the commandments, and we all know our forefathers failed to do that, and that's what brought us into the captivity that we're in right now to this day. To this day. Let's get a precept on that to prove that. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Just to prove. 
that we're still in captivity to this day. Let's go to the book of Baruch and the Apocrypha. Uh, Baruch 3, starting with verse 8. Baruch 3 and 8 reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse and to be subject of payments. There's not nobody that could tell me that us Latinos, Native, and uh, are not under the curses of payments. We have to pay for water. We have to pay for light, gas, fuel, cell phone, auto insurance, you name it. You want a business, you got to pay for a license. If you, I mean, anything you got to pay, that's subject of payment. I don't understand how y'all can just say that we're not under the same oppression than, you know, than everybody else in Israel and, and believe that the Hispanics and the natives are not Israelites. You people are simple and I can tell you the most I is not dealing with y'all if y'all don't understand these scriptures. Read it again, Behold, uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. The most High scatters throughout the four corners of the earth. I will say this about that so-called 12 tribe chart. I will not say that all Ephraim is in the land of Puerto Rico, so-called, and all Simeon is in the land of the Dominican Republic, and all the Levites because we're scattered. Who knows what, what part of land? But I will tell you one thing, that the blacks, Latinos, native, and seven of any descent are the true Israelites biblically that's in the Bible, point blank and period. Y'all can uh, knock that 12 track chart down. That's fine because we're scattered. So who's to say that, you know, uh, I mean, we're scattered throughout the four corners. James, uh, let's get that. I don't like to paraphrase. Let's get that. James 1 and 1. Read, James, a servant of the Most High, and Hamasiach Yahweh Shai, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. He's only directing his letters to the twelve tribes. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Point blank and period. During our captivity, we're scattered all over. So are all the nations scattered. Point blank and period. I mean, I don't understand how how anybody could think that the, the, the Latinos and Hispanics and the Native and the Seminole Indian of the indigenous people are not the Israelites. It's just simple, and you need to um, repent for, 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 for coming down on the Most High's people because we fit the curses. And I'm going to go on. Let's move on. Deuteronomy 28 and 9. Yahweh shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. I just read that. I went back to precept upon precept. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You are a holy people. He chose you to be a special people above all people of the earth. Okay? Deuteronomy 20 89. Yahweh shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. And he has sworn unto thee, if, if thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power and walk in his ways. Point blank and period. If you keep the commandments, you're going to be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed of the fruit of the body, blessed of the cattle, blessed of the clan, blessed of the sheep, blessed of the ba thy basket and thy store, which is businesses. You're going to be blessed if you walk in his ways and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 10. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh. And they shall be afraid of thee. Deuteronomy 28 and 11. And Yahweh shall make thee plent plenteous in goods, in fruit, thy body, the fruit in thy cattle, the fruit in thy ground, and the land which Yahweh swore unto thy fathers to give thee, which is the new Jerusalem, the kingdom of the Most High. We have to find out who are Israelites. Let's get a precept. Who are Israelites? So everybody get a full understanding. Let's go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 9, verse 4, precept upon precept. And it reads, Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory, which is the kingdom, and the covenants, the new and the old covenant belongs to the Israelites, and the giving of the law. The law is only given to the, to the children of Israel, point blank and period. And the service of the Most High, and all the promises that are in the Bible. It's given only to the Israelites. 
Romans 9 and 4. Read it for yourself. Let's move on. 28, Deuteronomy 28 and 12. Yahweh shall open up uh, uh, unto thee good treasures in heaven and give rain unto thy land in, thy, in the season and to bless all his work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. As you see, we fit into curses because we're not lending. We're, we're the borrowers. We have to borrow to get a car loan. We have to borrow to buy a house. We have to borrow. So we know who's under the curses. Okay? Let's continue. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 13. And Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If, if thou hearken unto the commandments of the Most High, which I command thee this day to observe to do them. Again, if you walk in my ways, the, the Heavenly Father said, and if you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you will be blessed. Point blank and period. In all the ways, I tell you, the fruit, the cattle, the, 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 thy basket and thy store and business, that means business, and you're coming and going, you're going to be blessed. You, all the plagues, you're going to, you know, uh, you're going to make sure his angels are compassed around you. No, no harm, no plague, nothing will come upon you if you keep his commandments. Obviously, we went into captivity because our forefathers didn't keep the commandments of the Most High, point blank and period. That's why we're still in captivity to this day, per Baruch 3 and 8. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 14, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I have commanded this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Okay, you're not supposed to be, not go aside from any of the words he commanded us. Go right or left uh, and serve other gods. This, this, this land out here, they serve other gods. They don't serve the God of the Bible the, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the true most high, because Buddha is a God. They call Allah a God. That's why we refer to him as the most high God, the creator of heaven and earth and of everything, and the true father of the children of Israel, point blank and period. Now we're going to get to the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 15, and it reads, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, Unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. Will I command thee this day. That all these curses. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read it again. Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. Will I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee. Now. Uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 16. Curse shall be in the city. We're in the curses from the city, from New York to L.A. Who's in the ghetto? Who's in the hoods? Who's in the projects? Who, who's living a Section A, food stamps, uh, so-called government vouchers? Blacks, Hispanics, Native, Ameri uh, Native Americans. That's who. I'm speaking facts through, from, from New York all the way to L.A., across the United Snakes of America. We're the one persecuted. We're the one in the hoods. We're the one on Section 8 and all these government, so-called aids, government gifts. Okay, so curse. Uh, 28 and 16, curse shall thou be in the city, curse shall be in the field. Who was cursing the field? Who was cursing the tobacco field, potato field, cotton field? Our ancestors working 16 hours a day. Uh, um, you know, uh, on, in, in this captivity, point blank and period, who was cursed? Our ancestors, point blank and period. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. No businesses will flourish. Yeah, sure, you're going to have one or two Israelites that's, that's successful in business, but us as a people, as a people, as a nation, why is there Africans, um, uh, have businesses out here. Why is the Moab, so-called Chinese, have businesses out here? How come the Japanese has Japanese restaurants out here? How come, I mean, you name, so forth and so on. Elon, so-called uh, East Indian, I mean, they all have businesses here. How come we we can't? Because we're cursed in the city. We're cursed in, 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 in thy store. 
we're cursing the fruit in the body. Why uh, a lot of blacks, uh, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians have all these uh, curses, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, so forth and so on. I mean, these are curses of the Most High for us hearkening not to His Word. That's who we know who are the true people of the Most High, the ones serving these curses. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 20, Yahweh shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, rebuke, and all thy settle thine heart unto uh, Salakia, set of thy hand unto you, unto thou be destroyed, unto thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast forsaken, because we stepped away from the law, statute, commandments, we're still in captivity to this day. We're still the uh, first high of uh, uh, Last high, first fire. We still have to clock in and, uh, 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 on the so-called uh, slave master's time clock when we go work. If you don't work, you don't get paid. That's a curse. Point blank and period. Again, we're, we're subject to payments. Have to pay for everything, even water that comes freely from the Most High. How could we not be uh, you know, cursed out here? Makes no sense. Deuteronomy 28 and 21, Yahweh shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, unto, we, unto he have consumed thee far off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. I mean, all the sicknesses, like I said. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 22, Yahweh shall smite thee with a consumption, with a fever and an inflammation, and with extreme burning, and with the sword and the blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. All the curses, the sicknesses that are coming out here. You Israelites that are not living by the law, statute, commandments, you're going to be vexed with this so-called corona uh, virus. That's through the Most High God. Millions of people are going to die because of this. As you see, it's just the beginning stages. Millions are going to die. And if you, if, you, if you learned, you know, per Zechariah, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Zechariah 13 and 8. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. Meaning, two thirds, that's 66.6% .6 of the Israelites are going to be put to death. There's only one third that's going to be uh, left therein. Verse 9, uh, uh, Zechariah 13 and 9, and I will bring that third part, that 33.3, .3, through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call my name. So obviously you have to know the Israelites know the Father or the Most High's name, which this world ignorantly does not know the Father's name. They refer to him as God, which God is just a title like Lord is, but those are just titles. Those are not the Heavenly Father's name. And I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Okay, so 66.6% of the people of Israelites are going to be put to death, and only 33% are going to be brought through the fire, refined as silver is refined, and as gold is refined. Let's get a preset. Let's go to the book of Amos 9 verse 9. Amos 9 verse 9 reads, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel amongst all nations. So Yahweh Shai Masiah, when he cracks that sky, he's coming to sift throughout the nation. Why is he sifting throughout the nations? Because we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And he's going to pull out his people. I'm going to continue uh, Amos 9 and 9, like corn is sift in the sleeve, yet not the least grain fall upon the earth. Amos 9 and 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We'll read it again, Amos 9 and verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, point blank and period. 66.6% .6 of Israelites are going to be put to death for turning their um, um, heart against the Most High and not living by the law, statute, commandments. Only 33% is going to be refined as silver and gold. 
and the ones that call by his name, as you see per the scriptures. So these are talking about the, the curses and the blessings in Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Let's continue. Where were we? Let's go to... Uh, Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters, reads, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long, and they shall be no might in thy hands. Obviously, the sons and daughters were put into captivity. That's what he's saying. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all the nations, whether... Yahweh shall lead thee, a byword, nigger, spick, coon. I mean, you need wetback. You, all these names that they call us, bywords. I mean, we call spicks too. So how can you, these so-called Negro-only Israelites say that the Hispanics and Native are not Israelites? I don't get, how, how could they prove that we're not living by the curses of the Deuteronomy chapter 28? That's simple as hell, and y'all need to repent. That's why I'm bringing out this le lesson through the spirit of Yah by Shem Shai. Specifically for all you guys that are knocking all the people of the Most High. You erring because you don't know the scriptures. Let's continue. Um, let's go to 40, uh, 28 and 47. Because thou hast served not Yahweh thy power with joyness and with gladness of heart for the brothers of all things. Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Again, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Who are we serving? The so-called uh, enemies of all these other nations that have us in oppression. You know, let's get, let's get that. Who are the enemies? Let's get that precept upon precept. Let's find out who are the enemies of the Most High. Who is the most wanted like the FBI most wanted list, let's bring out Yahweh's most wanted list. Okay, let's go to Psalms 83, starting with the second verse. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, a tumult, a secret, a, 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 a plan, a, a, you know, planning against us. And they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. Psalms 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. 83 verse 4, they have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation. But read it again, 83 and 4, they, they have said, let, come let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They took our heritage, they took our language, they took our customs, um, they took our, um, everything, you know, all these nations, uh, Psalms 83 and 5, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now we're going to get to the nitty gritty. Who are the enemies? Psalms 83 and 6, the tabernacle of Edom. Edom, so-called white man. Most wanted list. Number one in Yahweh's list. Number two, the Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs. Moab, so-called Chinamen, Haragines, uh, Africans, Jabal Africans, Ammon, so-called Japanese. They're on the most wanted list. Amalek, so-called Amalek that's running this world right now. So-called Illuminati, all these so-called that's running this world right now. They, um, they're on the most wanted. Philistines, so-called, uh, and the ha inhabitants of Tyree. African nations, the Africans are not the most highest people. The Africans are not the most high people. Verse 8, Ashur is also joined with them. They have hoped the children of, of Lot, Salah. These are the enemies of the most high. That's who we're serving this day in this captivity, Baruch 3 and 8, to this day. Point blank and period. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 20 and 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemy, which Yahweh shall send against thee. In hunger, who do you have to go to to go get your food? So-called white man, so-called China man. When you go into these China and get this pork fire rice with them hairy wings, point blank and period. Who do you go to? We go to our enemies, okay, in hunger and in thirst.
When you don't pay your water bill or you have to go buy water, where do you go? To the so-called white man who owns Walmart, Target, all these other big corporation stores, point blank and period. We're, we're serving our enemies and with nakedness. When you go get your clothing, we don't earn any textile. We don't own no clothing to make our own clothes. We have to go to these stores to our enemies to get our clothing. Point blank and period. Read it again. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Nakedness. And in all wants, and in all your wants. Meaning, you want to get married, you got to so-called get a marriage license, even though that's not a custom of the Israelite. But I'm just saying, in, in this captivity, marriage license, you want to own a business, you got to get a business license. You got to get commercial insurance. You got a car, you got to get insurance for them. These are all the curses. You want a cell phone, you got to pay. I mean, everything you have to, you have to go to them. We can't, we can't do nothing. We're serving our enemies, which the Most High put against us for not hearkening to his word and not living through the law, statute, and commandments. Point blank and period. Deuteronomy 40, uh, 28 and 49. Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, who... Right now, at this time, we all know in the Babylonian, the Roman, and the Greek, we all know that they all had the signal, uh, the symbol of eagles. But right now, who is carrying the symbol of eagles? Who is the bald eagle belong to? The Americas, the United Snakes of America. Okay, you see it on your postal trucks, military trucks. Look at the police badges. Look at all your courtrooms. Look at everywhere. All you see is eagles. Okay, let's go back to the scriptures. Yahweh shall bring a nation uh, against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Again, the original language that the, all the in, in, indigenous people here spoke was Hebrew. When they put us into captivity in 1419, uh, Salaka, in 1492, when they put us into captivity, they forced us to speak, us, us so-called Hispanics, when they shifted to Portugal and Spain and all these other places, they forced the Spanish language. That is not our original tongue. Point blank and period. They forced white Jesus on us. We all know that the Messiah of the Bible and the Most High of the Bible, uh, uh, you know, in, per the revelation of Yahweh Shai Masiach in Revelation 1 and, and 14, uh, brass color as it burned as he burned in a furnace. We all know this. The true Israelites that 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 are learned. Okay, the rest of this world don't know this. Okay, but let's get back to the to blessings and curses. Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly of a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the persons of old. Regard the person low. What's the first thing they want to do here? They know that the majority of the people here, the, the elderly here, lives on Social Security. What do these devils want to do? They want to cut Social Security. They want to cut Medicaid. So they could just, you know, just perish. I mean, they don't give a crap about the young. They don't give a crap about the old. We're talking about the Americas. Point blank and period. Babylon the Great. That's exactly what we're talking. Spiritual Egypt. That's mentioned in the book of Revelations. Spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, where they're passing all these gay laws, pedophilia, uh, bestiality. We're talking about the Americas. You don't want to hear it, but I'm coming out with the truth on this so-called Passover that the Most High has going on. We're going to bring out the truth, and that's just it. That's just it. A nation of fifth continents which shall not regard the persons of old, nor show favor to the young. I mean, we see it every day. We see it every day. These cops locking up these nine, six, five-year-old kids. People, uh, cops are cuffing them. It's ridiculous. And, they, and, and, and they're going to pay. They're going to pay. That's why he's casting his judgment. Um, let's go to 28. Deuteronomy 28 and 58. It reads, If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of the law that are written in this book, and thou mayst fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahweh thy power. Uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 59 reads, Then Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful and plagues of thy seed even great. 
even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sickness and of continuance. I mean, what's going on right now with the coronavirus? These are plagues of sore sickness and long continuance. Uh, 28 and 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases, all the what? All the diseases of Egypt. Not just the plagues, but the diseases. I'm going to continue with thou was afraid of and thou shalt cleave unto thee. Deuteronomy 28 and 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of the law, then will Yahweh bring upon thee unto thou be destroyed. Unto thou be destroyed. What's going on right now with the so-called uh, coronavirus? Long sickness, long continuous, the diseases of Egypt. Also, every sickness and plague which is not written in the book, then will Yahweh bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. You can't make this up right now. Why? Because you would, uh, us, the Israelites, we fail to hearken. Again, 66.6% .6 of the Israelites can be put to death for not coming to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Point blank and period. Let's drop down to 64, Deuteronomy 64. 28 and 64, and Yahweh shall scatter thee amongst all the peoples from one end of the earth, even unto the other. I cover that. I showed you that in James 1 and 1, that the Israelites, the children of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And thou shalt serve other gods, oh, serving Jesus, serving uh, Allah. Buddha, serving all these other gods of all these other nations. All these other gods of these nations are idols. There's only one true God, and that's the Most High God, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of the Bible. That's the Most High, Yahweh. Which neither shall nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. Wood and stone, meaning the, the, the so-called Catholics that honor that wood and stone, so-called uh, Islam. That, that that's honoring that 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 stone of Mecca that they preach that they do this they, all the symbolization around that stone. So the Most High knows who 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 you know serving the other gods, the other gods of these nations. Point blank and period. Uh, let's drop down to sixty eight because this is where everybody got the confusion. Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight, and it reads, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bring to Egypt again. That means besides the first exodus. That means that's when the children of Israel were in captivity and in bondage and in slavery. Egypt is it, 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 synonymous with slavery. You can get that. Let's go to the book of Exodus 20 real quick. Prove all things. Bible says to prove all things. Exodus 20, starting with the second verse. It says, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage and slavery. Okay? So I'm going to read the Deuteronomy 28, the way it should be read. And Yahweh shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. With Ships, I'm going to say it again, with ships. When, show me the chapter and verse that the first exodus, the Israelites needed ships. Show me chapter and verse. Because I'm going to show you, going back to Exodus, let's go to Exodus 14. Exodus 14, 29. And it reads, but the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And waters were a wall unto them on the right hand and on the left. I'm going to read it again. This is Exodus 14, 29. Dust off your Bibles, open it up, and read it for yourself. Exodus 14, verse 29. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea 
and the waters were a wall on the right and on the left. When Moses lifted up his his, his uh, staff, the the Red Sea parted through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem was shy, for the Israelites can safely walk through the Red Sea on dry land. They didn't need any ships. So when he says that he's going to bring you back into slavery with ships, those are the cargo slave ships during the transatlantic slave trade. And 1492, when the so-called indigenous people of the Americas were put into captivity. You got to understand this Bible, but a lot of you are unlearned and, and it just, it's not, it's not for you. Like in the book of Matthew says, you have eyes but cannot see. You got ears but you can't hear and understand. It's only given to the most highest people. But I'm going to read it again and clear this all up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. By the way thereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. What were we not going to see again? Our homeland, Israel. Point blank and period. And I'm going to go on because it gets even deeper. Thou shalt see no more again. And there ye shall be sold. He shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. You're going to be sold. Here we got a nigga, 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 nigga here. 50, 50, 50, here. Nigga, 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 nigga here. It's, I mean, it, it's history. The captivity. Point blank and period. But you have to get the true understanding of the Bible. Of the Deuteronomy curses and the blessing. 20, 68 reads again. And Yahweh shall bring thee into slavery again. This is not talking about the first exodus. I just proved it. That Israelites walked through the Red Sea. There was no need for ships. But you people are simple. Number one, simple. Number two, unlearned. You don't know the Bible. Uh, and I spake there of thee that they shall see no more again our land. I read it in uh, 28, uh, Psalms uh, 83. That it be no more in remembrance. Israel, they cut us off from being a nation. Precept upon precept. I prove everything with the Bible. They shall see no more again. And there ye shall be sold. Who were the people that were sold uh, 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 off cargo slave ships? Those are the people of the Most High. If you know anything, 1492, when killing Christopher Columbus, colonized North Central, uh, the islands, North Central uh, America, when he came in, uh, Hispaniola, when he conquered all these lands, those are the people of the Most High that put him into slavery. Point blank, in 1619, the so-called American blacks, uh, um, went into captivity and slavery on cargo slave ships. Point blank, they show you everything in movies. Look at Roots. Look at uh, I, mean, I mean, they show you everything in all these holly folly movies. Point blank and period. But again, you people are simple. I'm gonna re read it again. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. The first Exodus, there was no ships needed. And by the way, I spake there uh, uh, unto thee, they shall see it no more again, which is our land, Israel. We won't see it until the Messiah makes the second coming, the second exodus, when he cracks that sky and comes to redeem his people, his people, the true Israelites, the biblical Israelites that are living on, with the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's get a precept on that. Let's get a precept. The Bible says prove all things. Uh, let's go to Galatians, the book in the New Testament, Galatians 4 and 4, and it reads, But when the fullness of time was come, the Most High sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made of a woman, that, 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 that immaculate conception is folly and a total lie. Christ had a father just like all of us have mothers and, and fathers. That's a lie. Made under the law. Again, Christ was made under the law. Let's go to Galatians 4 and 5. To redeem them that were under the law. I proved it with Romans 9. Who was giving the service of the Most High? Who was giving the covenants, the new and the old? Who was giving the promises, the, the, the glory, which is the kingdom? It's the Israelites. The biblical Israelites. 
the Galatians 4 and 5, to redeem the, them that were under the law that we may receive the adoption of sons. Point blank and period. Point blank and period. I mean, you can go on, let's go to, let's get another precept. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Let's go to the book of Acts. Uh, let's start at Acts 5 and 30. The Most High of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. When you pre persecuted and killed the Messiah, the true deliverer, the Savior of Israel. Acts 5 and 31. Him Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a Savior and to give repentance to Israel, not everybody, to Israel and forgiveness of sin. He's only coming for his people. Point blank and period. I showed you throughout the scriptures. Go to Exodus 3 and 10. Go to Exodus 10 and 3. I mean, you go to Matthews. Let's go to Matthews, the first chapter. Matthews, uh, one, the first chapter, the 21st verse, and she shall bring forth the son, which was Mary, that made uh, uh, Christ was made from a woman, that thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. I mean, <laughs> you can't make this up. Let's get another precept so I can nail it. Let's go to book of Luke. Stop all this confusion. The, the book of Luke, first uh, chapter, 68 verse. And it reads, Blessed be Yahweh, thy power of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. 69, And has raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Uh, Luke 1 and 70, As he spoke by the mouth of his prophets, which have been since the world began this word this truth is only given to the israelites point blank and period you can only get the truth of the bible the decoding of this bible to the decode so-called uh, the deuteronomy the blessings and the curse you have to be a prophet of the most high god yahweh and let me get another precept precept upon precept let's go to amos uh, 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7 reads, Surely Yahweh thy power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's why we can decode it, because it's only given to us. Period. It's only given to his people. It's only given to the prophets of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to just keep on giving you precept after precept. Let's go to Book of Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Psalms 147, 19 reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob hath twelve sons, which is the progenitor and the father of the twelve tribes of Israel. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel is only given to Israel. 147, verse 20, He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. He's only dealing with Israel, his people. He's only coming to redeem his people, Israel, point blank and period. I hope this was edifying, the breaking down, the Deuteronomy, the blessings and the curse. That that's why we're cursed in this land. We're still in captivity per Baruch 3 and 38. Uh, Salakia 3 and 8. And um, the, the understanding of Deuteronomy the 2868, when he, uh, the Yahweh shall bring you into, into slavery again with ships. The first exodus, there was no need for no ships. They walked through the Red Sea. Point blank and period. Read it for yourself. Exodus 14, 29. And I'm going to hit this last precept. To prove it, let's go to book Isaiah 11 and 11. And it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall send, set his hands again a second time, a second exodus, to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left in Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinea, from Hamath, from the islands of the sea. He's only coming. The Most High sent His Son for a second coming to redeem His people. 
And I hope this was edifying. The cursing, the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. For all you so-called uh, Negro-only Israelites, you'll need to repent. Because the Hispanics, Native, and Salmon of Indian descent, we're all sharing the same curses. We're still being oppressed by the devil that the Bible speaks of in this land of captivity. And with that, that's the purpose of bringing out this lesson, to stop the folly and all this nonsense that we have to hear it from the so-called heathen nations. And we got our own brothers in, uh, coming against us saying that we're not Israel. Show me the chapter. Show me the verse. If any of you have, uh, just send it in the comment section. But come with substance and come with scriptural facts. Okay? Point blank and period. I hope this was edifying. Shabbat shalom. Shalom. Israel, and um, all praise and glory for the Most High and His Passover. Um, stay Most High blessed. Um, cleave to the to, to the Word, to the Lord's Scriptures, endure to the end. The kingdom is nigh. And with that, Shabbat Shalom. Peace.